Howdy YouTube, Mark Dreamer here from Refurbished Gentleman, and today on RGTV, I'm going to walk through the steps I use when I'm doing posts, and I want to add my logo to the content. And for this instance, it just happens to be pictures. So if I'm doing like a sneak peek or just showing something that I'm doing or something I'm working on, I like to just drop my logo in there. That way, just in case someone actually shares you know that peak or does something with it that my logo will go with it my branding will go with it in that way for some reason or another if if it gets sent off somewhere and you know the person wants to know like hey how did he do that or what was he doing here and it was just shared simply out of the fact that somebody thought it was cool looking um but didn't actually tag me in the content or anything like that that the person can find their way back to me um, simply by, you know, searching, you know, refurbished gentleman. And this will happen a lot of times on Facebook and or Instagram. So anytime I do a post, I like to go ahead and add my logo. So I had a question today from Instagram. How the heck do I do that? So I have this screen open already and it is type Orama. And it is an app that you can get. And if you get the professional version, it opens up all kinds of fun stuff. And one of those things is adding a watermark. So I'm just gonna walk through this portion of it. And I will also walk through probably another video on some of the other aspects within this app that I use almost daily that allows you to add text and do some other fun things. But for the premise of this video, it's specifically going to be how I add my watermark onto a photo for you know my daily posts for wherever social media I put it on. So, okay, so this is the actual window that's gonna look like when you open up your Typorama app. So, it starts off all the way to left with projects, and that's anything I've worked on previous. Presets is just that. It's gonna have all the different kind of presets that you might need. So if you know you're gonna start off needing an Instagram post, it's gonna basically be a square shape. So it's gonna look like that. Okay, so I'm gonna back up out of there. Or if you're doing a video thumbnail, so like what I was working on today was I was working on the video thumbnail for a cleaning video that I'm going to be sharing on YouTube. So I would click on that and it automatically gives you something starting with the dimensions of the size that you want, right? But that's a blank document. Blank sheet, blank something you get to work from. What I'm looking for is a photo that I've already taken that I'm now going to crop into that particular size and then do my text and all that kind of stuff too, right? So that's when you go into my photos, which is the next thing. And if you go a couple over, you got stock images where it gives you just kind of some cool things to, you know, if you wanted to type up your own little comment for the day and you wanted a cool backdrop, these are all ones that they have within there. And colors, and they have all different kind of colors you can choose from as well. So, but again, for the, for the sake of this video, it's specific about adding my logo. So I took just some random pictures of stuff around the shop. So these chairs I'm working on, let's see, let's pull that one up. So, okay. So I want it to be this picture, but I want an Instagram post size. So I'm going to click the Instagram post. It's going to automatically crop it. Once it's cropped, I can move it up or down, get it wherever I want. And then I go next. And then it adds in, automatically already adds in your text bubble section here. And that's across the bottom. So you have text, and then the next one is background, and then the next one is your watermark. And that's where you're going to get your logo tag in. So I'm going to go back over to text. I'm just going to kind of move this out of the way because that's not what we're talking about right now. We're just talking about the watermark. So we're going to go... Get that out of the way, and we'll go back over to the watermark section. Now, what you're going to have to have is a file that you could use to place in there. Now, it could be a JPEG or PNG, but if you have a PNG file, it will be a transparent background, which is kind of what you're looking for when you have a logo. And as you guys know, I work um, 
very heavily with Wise Owl. So I have all their nice little logos in there. Um, I volunteer with Restore Decor, so I have their logo in there. And then I have my RGTV logo and then my Refurbished Gentleman logo. And this is these are all ones that I went into the Add New Watermark and then it went on my phone and then I placed it inside of this section. And you can add and remove you know, all these as you need to. These are the ones I use on a regular basis, so I leave them in there. And you can have no watermark at all, and that's kind of where we're sitting right now. That's why there's nothing on the picture itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my logo. So I'm going to go over to Refurbished Gentleman. I'm going to click that little button, and you'll see it'll add a new, basically a layer on top of what we already have there with my logo. And that's all there is to it. And then the little arrows down to the bottom right, you can click and hold and you can spin, you can drag, you can do all these different kind of neat things. So if I know, okay, I want it to cover partially, but not all the way of this picture, I'll set it down in here. So that way it can't be completely cropped out and it's still covering it. So it's covering part of my picture, but it also is not like de detracting from the picture itself. And again, you can put it wherever you want to, place it however you want to, you know, make it bigger, smaller, however you want. And then it also has an opacity. So if you don't want it quite as dominant in the picture, you can drag this little bar up or down to make it show a little more, a little less, however you want it. And that's all there is to it. And then once you have that done, you go on to the next step. But I would just want to show you if you click back over onto the actual text section, you can remove this text. So if you just wanted to put your logo in there, which is what we're doing here, you just hit the X and that'll remove that all together. So this is what you'll have. You got your watermark over top of your picture in some way, shape or form, whether you're using it for final pictures or just like a daily post where you wanna add in your logo. And then when you're done, you hit OK Share and then you hit the Save and it will save it to your phone in your photos or whatever kind of, I use the iPhone, so in your photos for you to use in whatever way, shape or form you want to. And I haven't really used it where it automatically sends to any of these other areas, which you can see you can connect those up in some way, shape or form, you know, to directly add it to those social media, but I don't, I don't use it that way. So that's it. That's all there is to it. So I had, like I said, I had someone asked me on Instagram today and I thought, why not just do a quick uh, screen recording of exactly how I do it. And then I'm going to do a secondary video of more into the text part. So this part over here where you can add in layers of text, you can change the different styles of the text um, and get a little bit more in depth into that. And that's how I do a lot of my post where I add in words in there. It's a very nice little addition too. And again, I think that is most of this, including the watermark is in the pro version, but it's a one-time fee. I, I, for me, I feel like it's, it's definitely worth it for how much I use it and how easy it is to use. So anyways, that's it for this edition of RGTV. Uh, again, I just wanted to share a little bit of the knowledge with folks because someone asked that question. So as always, if there's questions you guys have and you're like, hey, I really like to know how the heck you did that, don't hesitate to ask because I just might do a video for you. So hope everybody have is having a blessed day. Um, please ensure to like and subscribe my YouTube channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. This is what I'm trying to bring to everybody and have a great day.